All right, Audrey. Good morning. This is Brad Zatoski uh, coming to you live here at 73 LaForce Place in Riverside, I'm sorry, in uh, Black Rock area of the city of Buffalo. So moving on in, as we come up, this is going to be the upstairs unit. Um, as you can see behind me, there's the stairs going downstairs for the floors floor units. Walking on in. So first thing that strikes me is the carpets. The carpets are in horrific shape, would need to be completely ripped out and replaced. Uh, very, not dirty walls, but definitely have not been painted in a long time. So this home is certainly going to need some rehab. You can see the trim work and everything is all beat up um, as we come out, you know. But again, that carpet is just really bad shape. So um, to be quite honest with you, I think this is going to require much more work than you're going to want to do uh, for a place. I don't see this being close to 220, um, to be quite frank with you. So windows are certainly going to be older wood. Uh, they don't even really slide that easy. They don't slide at all. So, um, yeah, so windows replaced. Walls need a good paint job. Floor needs to be completely replaced. The carpeting throughout the entire house. As we come into the, uh, which I guess coming in, I'm sorry, let's back up here. So as we come in, obviously the door is right there. I come in. You're going to have your little sitting room. That's going to be out to the front porch right there. But you do have a little deck, which is kind of cool outside. I'm not going to go out there just because I can't see. I don't know how sturdy that is. Um, so with that being said, as you can see around us, that apartment building right there is going to be a lot of those. Um, I don't know for certain if those are Section 8, but I would assume they are. So... The crime, I'm, you know, quite frankly, I could see it uh, not being the greatest here. Definitely some issues. So we do have a couple of vinyl windows right here. However, they hung plastic up, so there must be some kind of a breeze coming in, uh, would be my guess right there. So anyway, coming on through. So I'm going to stop and tell you right now, I, I don't even recommend you moving forward with this. I think for the price, um, I think you'd be much better suited off, you know, spending a little bit more um, in a different area or going maybe to uh, a different side of um, Black Rock if you want to stay within this price range. But I definitely think you can find a better value for, you know, $225,000 than this place. So another vinyl window. So it looks like some have been replaced. So when it says 73 to 75, that's because you can see right there, that's going to be a vacant lot. That would be your garage, uh, which is, you know, not bad at all. Double car garage. Roof looks good on it. Solid there. Nice backyard to play. Um, and as you can see, we're back to those apartment buildings I was showing you. They are all around us. Um, so not overly bad. I mean, it's just something that you can't expect to rent this right out. You're going to have to come in uh, once we start seeing more, such as the bathroom. Uh, you know, floor needs to get replaced, uh, door, uh, tub, it's starting to, uh, the seals are shot on there, as you can see right there. The, so, wood window again, looking outside. Um, probably wouldn't recommend keeping anything in here. I'd probably want to speak, you know, you'd probably gut this and completely redo it. Moving into another bedroom, so actually back up. So that's the bathroom, as you can see the floor right there. Um, let's move into the other bedroom quick. So bedrooms aren't overly big either, which isn't a big deal. You're going to get that in these style houses, so I'm not too concerned about that. Every bedroom does have a small closet. And as you see here, we are back to wood windows. Going to give you a little bit better view. There's that side property. A vacant lot which isn't going to have much value because you never put a property on there so the only value is going to be if a family were to move in here um, added values if the family moved in here uh, you might uh, um, you know find them liking it just because they'll have a yard for their kids to play in so with the age of the house there is a good chance it could be hardwood underneath the floors out here in the living rooms and bedrooms but i can't confirm that and there's no real way to pull the carpet up to verify so 
Anyway, moving into the kitchen, uh, it's, you know, a cheaper laminate flooring. You can see it's starting to separate, would definitely need to be replaced. Uh, as we come over, here's going to be our kitchen counter. It looks like they literally just took a layer of vinyl sheathing here and stapled it on. Uh, you would want to rip all this stuff out. Not even very level over there. Um, small stove. You know, you'd have to put a whole new countertop on. It's got some pretty bad burn stains, just really not in good condition at all. So uh, backsplash windows, I would say the bathroom needs to be gutted. I would say the kitchen needs to be gutted. Um, so when I say plaster walls, if you, and that, that's right there, you're going to see a lot of those that used to obviously be a furnace or something right here. Uh, it may have been sitting in there at one point and that would just be, um, a vent right there, a clean out vent. So, um, anyway, my point to this was, um, if you look at these walls, you can kind of see the imperfections like right there, how it humps out and such. So that's going to tell you it's plaster. Um, it just doesn't have the smooth consistency of a drywall. Um, not that anything's wrong with plaster, uh, you know, it's something that every house had back in the day. Uh, the issue that I have with it is if it's not in the exterior walls, meaning the walls that have windows that go outside, I do get a little concerned because most likely it's not going to be insulated. Um, not necessarily going to be an issue for you is most likely your tenants are going to cover the heat, uh, you know, heating bills. However, um, that could be a deterrent as well. I'm not sure if, if you were planning on including the heat in the rent or whatnot, um, but if you, if you were to pay for it, it can get pretty, pretty expensive, um, or whatnot. So, okay. So we're going to come back around. Just doing a little quick loop. There's one more bedroom. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to advise, stay again, stay away from this one. Um, you know, good way to start out our search, kind of taking some look at some properties, but I do think this just, you know, needs too much work. Um, it's not going to be worthwhile. Um, you know, is an investment property, uh, for you. Um, yeah. So with that being said, I'm going to end this one here. I'm not going to, you know, spend too much more time. Um, you know, you start getting to stuff like that where there's graffiti on the doors. It just kind of tells you it's, it's not, not, not the greatest sign. So, um, yeah, I think we should definitely hang tight. I do see some security cameras, which is always good um, on the neighbor's houses and whatnot. Uh, vinyl exterior here, as I said. So, you know, if you guys were living locally and you didn't mind putting in some, you know, elbow grease, some work, I would say this might not be the worst investment for you. But the fact that you guys are going to have to hire somebody um, really, you know, to, to do the work, I just don't see it being feasible for you um, with the amount of work that needs to uh, be done. So... Um, coming on out, you can see it looks like the back. There is a nice vinyl deck out there. That's definitely some added right there. The roof looks good. So I've got to give it to that. Um, so yeah, nice new wood deck, vinyl fence. That's going to be the back door downstairs. Here we're going to go up in the attic. And that's the door we just came out of from the apartment. So these attics, um, you know... It costs too much to fix them up in order to count this as square footage and to use this um, as a selling, you know, to, to use this as like a third apartment or whatnot, you'd have to have a fire escape. It would be difficult. See the little bird just flew away. Um, yeah, so not, not something I would recommend, um, you know, putting another unit up here. It's going to cost too much. It's not even enough ceilings, so that's not even going to be a consideration. So some of these attics, you know, if it's in a really nice area, um, what you would do is, you know, it's going to be a lot bigger too. You're going to be able to walk up straight and it's going to be a lot wider. So anyway, what you would do is you would fix this on up. You'd put like an egress door, a fire escape out there, and then they'd have their back door access going down there all the way downstairs. So in order to count as a bedroom, it has to have a point of entrance, point of exit, um, which obviously you can see this has one way up. It'd have to have a fire door as well as, you know, it'd need a lot of work. So... As you can see, they did fix this room up. Uh, that's going to be the original smokestack. And you can see here, um, again, bonus square footage. You know, every house, every Buffalo double is going to have an attic like this. Uh, most of the times, they're not going to be finished off at all. Um, this is going to be the front of the house right there. Looking out again, that's that first apartment I showed you. So, yeah, so you're not, you're not going to get any value out of this attic. Just, you know, I just wanted to come up here and show you. Um, looks like at one point they tried to fix it up a little bit, but okay. 
All right, so I'm going to leave it with that. Um, you can say I did put down some new sheathing down here. So, again, it looks like they've done some updates, just very minimal updates um, to get by as least as they possibly could. So, better look at the deck. Um, deck's definitely not in bad shape. One thing I noticed, there's no railing on the right-hand side. You can see there is on the left going down. No caps on the vinyl or anything like that. So, um, But, again, it does look like a decent deck. I'm just, you know, it'd be interesting to see if it was built to code and everything. So, um, not having the... Uh, Railing right there, you know, kind of makes me wonder if it was done professionally or not. Um, nonetheless, not a bad um, property. Again, if you don't mind coming in and putting some um, effort, some work into it or whatnot, but this is not going to be um, financially feasible for you living in California and having to subcontract out all the work um, and paying, you know, top dollar for that type of stuff for stuff that you guys could easily come do. So, um You know, I think you look at this more of a long-term hold strategy, hope the area continues to rise in value. Um, you know, I just can't say for certainty with all the apartment buildings around how much that's really going to happen. So, um, okay. Anyway, I'm going to end that here. I don't, I, I don't see this being worth my professional advice is stay away. Um, and I will give you a call here in a bit. I will um, update you on the other properties and we will go from there, um, especially Dakota. So I will talk to you soon. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Hopefully the video was enough for you. And again, we'll do, once we find a nice place here that I feel confident on, we'll do a much better tour and, you know, check out the basement and such. But I can just already tell this is not, not something you're going to want. But we checked it out. We know what we're looking at in this price range in this area. So gives you an idea. So glad I came, um, if nothing else. So we will talk soon. Sorry for rambling. And uh, again, let me know if you have any questions. Bye.